Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all the products that I have in my house right now, all the products that I've bought in the past few months, all the products that I love, and even all the products that I hate. So I'm not gonna include all the products that I use for my curly to straight routine because those products are in the haul that I just recorded as well. So yeah, if you wanna check that video out, I'll leave it in the description box below. So with all the products that I have, I have not been focusing on what's in the products a lot of people are becoming aware of what's in these products and you know silicones parabens and all that stuff i've not actually gone into depth and sorted through what products are bad and what's not i did have a go at it what i came to realize is that most of these products do have silicones do have some sort of bad ingredient right and these are lines that i've been using for years and you know you never really think that there's any nasty products in them but i definitely do think it's worth having a look through the ingredients to see if you see any of the major bad ones you know the ones that cause cancer or you know what i mean like parabens for instance i definitely don't like to use any products with parabens from what i know a cream of nature has parabens in some of their products and i literally looked through the ingredients one time because I wanted to find a new shampoo and conditioner and saw that they have parabens in it, one of the lines anyway so I didn't buy that one but the shampoo and conditioner that I have at the moment are from ORS this shampoo has sulfates in it which I didn't realise when I first bought it and I used it for a few times and I'm like I really like this shampoo like it's really really good and I come to realise that it's got sulfates in it and a lot of people that I've seen on Instagram love this product as well but it's it's purely up to you if you want to use sulfates in your shampoo or not for me i don't mind using sulfates because i know that the products i use have a lot of heavy butters and oils in them so yeah this is not that bad some might find it a bit too stripping but um i didn't mind this shampoo at all and also with this conditioner um i don't know how i feel about this one it didn't do much i'd say it didn't give me a lot of slip and for me when i use my conditioners anyway i just use it at the last step and just rinse my hair off a little bit while it's in twists and so some of the product gets left behind in my hair i don't really tend to use my conditioners for detangling purposes anyway i usually use the herbal essences one i kind of just realized that i have a lot of steps in my wash day routines when i can cut out one of the conditioning applications so when i do find a better conditioner i will be replacing the herbal essences with the conditioner and just deep conditioning and just thoroughly washing it out it's not much need to leave in some of the conditioner because that's what your leaving conditioning creams are for so i probably will change up my whole wash day routine to see if i can simplify it and if it works for me i'll re-record it and let you guys know so yes my shampoo and conditioner i do change them out quite often so this is the first time i'm using this brand i tend to use the ogx ones but they also have sulfates in it as well but again that's the line that i don't mind before the lawsuit anyway but not anymore i wouldn't say that it's the best line but it's just something that i can just grab from tesco's or sainsbury's but i have heard good things from the pantene gold series line so i might pick those up next time i'm not sure yet i definitely won't be buying this again i might buy this again i think i've definitely become a product junkie now and it all stemmed from the ors discontinuing that leave-in conditioning cream you know the ors for naturals one i just went mad and just bought <laughs> a lot of products the first leave-in conditioning cream is this curls unleash leave-in conditioning cream this i have a lot of issues with um i don't mind how the product feels in my hair i don't mind what it does but it doesn't mix well with eco styler gel and that's my main gel that i use when i do my wash and goes i found that we're making these little white flakes on my hair it would dry fine but that's not what you want to see when you're doing your hair <laughs> if i'm going to use this again in, in my routines i probably will just use it as just leave-in conditioner on its own so if i'm just washing my hair and putting my leave-in and braiding it this is what i will probably grab for i also did buy the cantu yes cantu leave-in conditioning cream it's the avocado um hydrating repair leave-in i really like this leave-in cream i really do it's nothing compared to the other leave-in conditioning creams that they have like i feel like those ones are actually trash now i did use that for years in the beginning and i realized that leave-in conditioning cream was trash when i tried the sheer moisture leave-in conditioning cream Ugh, you know the uh, jamaica black castle oh, um 
I tried that in my hair one time and I was like what have I been using in my hair all this time and I never went back to Cantu so I bought the Shea Moisture one once because it was so expensive I'm not paying £10 for a leave-in conditioning cream something I'm going to be using every week that's not going to last me more than a month so um bought that once and I've been trying been trying been trying to find a good leave-in conditioning cream and then I found the ORS for naturals one and then that, that's discontinued so this this is a good leave-in conditioning cream it's thick well it's not too thick it's like that consistency but it's very moisturizing in the hair I really liked it this paired with the other products on the line actually so in the Instagram video that I created I used this leave-in conditioner cream with the curl activating cream from the avocado line and these worked really well as a no gel wash and go my hair just felt really soft and the products clumped my curls to a certain degree obviously not what a gel can do but I really really like this line from from Cantu so this cost 6 dollars it's not overly priced so I'll say just try it out I don't think you will regret it though and it smells it smells very clean it's got a very clean scent it's not sweet and potent you know like the other line literally all their products smell the same with that um, old line you know like the curling cream the deep conditioner the twisting cream and all that they all smell the same very strong actually coming to think of it so that's the only leave-in conditioning creams i have at the moment and if i was to buy one out of these two it would be the cantu one i think this was 6.99 as well these were both very cheap which actually makes me question them <laughs> funnily i think it was like 2.99 or 3.99 and same with this can't really remember but um sometimes cheaper is not always better next thing i'm going to move on to is creams so curl activators and creams and stuff like that okay so first thing i have is this cantu avocado curl activator i've never used a curl activator before really really did like this product i can't say that it activated my curls i don't know what that means but um it's really thick and it was able to clump my curls would i buy it again mm. i don't know i don't think it's got a place in my hair care routines curl activator like what is that <laughs> and I also have the ORS oil moisturizing hair lotion my boyfriend really loves this lotion actually <laughs> he uses it more than I do it smells like OG ORS products this is a good moisturizer it's very 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 moisturizing this was actually quite cheap as well so I, I probably will buy this one again but well, my boyfriend likes it anyways yeah so really really like that moisturizer so this product i won in a giveaway it's the olive oil fortifying cream hairdress this product is very moisturizing as well it's thick but it's like wet at the same time if you know what i mean i've used this on a wash and go tone braid out before and my hair was super super shiny and moisturized out of all the moisturizers i probably will buy this one again this is giving me more whipped butter vibes you know what I mean and this is more lotiony vibes if that makes any sense and the next moisturizer I have is this curls unleash curly coil rich style cream the sheer butter and honey one I really like this product as well it smells nice as well I can't really explain the smell I think it's like a nutty smell I think almond maybe that's what it is but it's really thick look it's like jelly but it's not kind of thing kind of weird actually <laughs> but it's actually very 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 moisturizing as well this actually surprised me when I used it because the consistency is so weird I didn't expect it to do what it did like it left my hair feeling very moisturized I would say it probably even left a little bit of an oily residue but maybe this could be used literally on its own without using oils and it will be fine so yeah i like this product as well will i buy it again not too sure i'll have to see at this point once i get rid of all these products i will be sticking to just the odd few products because this is ridiculous now <laughs> i literally went from having what six seven products 
from the beginning of lockdown and now I've got a whole bloody bunch. Like I gathered all the hair products and put them all in the Zainzies bag and it was, it was basically full. So I do have my Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This one is a bit old. I haven't used it up and it's probably coming close to expiring. This says 12 months and I think I've had it over 12 months already. But I'll still use it because I do feel like the sell by dates are just there to safeguard the fact that okay this product is only supposed to be used for 12 months and if you do use it over these 12 months it probably won't work as well so yeah i continue to use my products when they're a little bit old the only thing you really have to look out for is if they have aqua in them which most of them do because aqua will go out of date eventually but also that's why these products have these weird ass names in it because some of them are preservatives and without them the product will grow mold it's just that some of the preservatives that they use are a bit iffy so yeah love this product i wouldn't say that it works better than the other curling creams that i have i probably get the same results using you know this cantu one that i bought or this curls unleashed one that i have yeah i don't think i'll be buying this one again it's overly priced first of all and i probably can get two of these with the same amount of money that i bought for this so that probably the last time i'll be buying this curl enhancer smoothie so that's that so i also did buy this cantu avocado hydrating curling cream as well this is the best one out of the line i'd say i did a washout to braid out using this cream and it came out so nice and it actually held my hair for quite a long time as well like it's not too thick so it soaks up into the hair and it provides moisture and shine and hold so out of this whole line i'll say this one is the best one this one was also 6.99 for gels i have eco styler gel <laughs> i bought this black caster and flaxseed oil one i'm yet to use this one i currently just run out of the olive oil one so this will be what i'll be using next and with this one i've also heard a lot of good reviews on it but i did go ahead and buy uh, another gel from ors curls unleashed this is the texture boosting curl jelly and this one's a very rare texture i don't know what to think of it it's actually like jelly guys look <laughs> Ooh. it's like Ugh. it smells citrusy it can't quite put my finger on what it reminds me of but it smells like an old school sweet i will be using this soon i'm actually going to record a whole head of curls unleashed so i might pair these two together see how i go so that's it for gels really i don't really experiment with gels i'm just happy with my eco styler gel i did actually buy the camille rose curl curl maker but that is in my haul video if, if you want to check that video out I'll leave it in the description box below. Oh, I also bought this Lotta Body product. It's the Lotta Body with coconut and shea oils, moisturize me, curl and star milk. I used this on another wash and go turn braid out and I really, really like the results with this one. I've seen a few YouTubers use this as well. It's got a similar consistency to the other moisturizing creams that I have. But with this one, I found an ingredient that I didn't like in it, isopropyl alcohol apparently that ingredient is supposed to be really bad for your hair like it dries it out when i did use this i did feel like my hair was a little bit dry i did my wash and go like i usually do and i have done wash and goes tone braid outs before and not experienced like dryness i don't know whether it was because of this product or not but i'll try it again and i actually used this in my blown out one curls video before i blow dried and i did experience a lot more poofiness the next day so it could possibly be due to this product because i don't usually have that problem when i one curls my blown hair like it usually lasts me at least three four days but it didn't so yeah i don't know if i recommend this product to anybody <laughs> i think with certain products they look like they do a good job at the beginning and then they just end up making your hair a lot more frizzy so the next thing i have is this ors wrap set mousse i've used this before in my juicy twist video i really love this product i have nothing bad to say about this product um it's good if you don't want to use a gel i've seen some people use it in their wash and goes before instead of using a gel but i tend to use this when i'm doing like protective styling so my juicy twists and also i use this on my son's hair when i'm camera his hair as well and if i ever do <laughs> braids which is once in a blue moon i'll set my hair using this so um i'll say this is a staple product if you want to set any hairstyle i also have this rs nourishing sheen spray this is what i used to use in my curly to straight routines um i don't 
or won't use this anymore because I found the Silk and Seal from Care Care and that is much more lightweight than this. Even though this is a lightweight spray, it still weighs your hair down a little bit. But I do use this for my son's hair and I will be using it to spray my roots with my straight hair when they get a bit too dry. So probably next week. So yeah, I'll be recording that all in my how I maintain my straight hair video. So yeah, that's that. So since we're talking about doing my son's hair, I use this Shine and Jam for his partings. And I also use it if I'm braiding my hair, if I'm ever braiding my hair. So this is a really good gel to help you get those crispy partings. It's really nice and thick. Like it don't move at all. <laughs> so yeah, I use that. I also bought this Cantu Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel which I don't really make any use of. I will try it in a twist out. I did use it in my son's hair a few times, but I found it was a bit too wet and it would make his hair revert before I even got a chance to start plaiting his hair. Yeah, it's like this jelly consistency. I'll see if I can make use of that. This is one of the products that I regret buying. I don't really make use of. So I have this Cantu Thermal Shield heat protectant. I don't really use this anymore um, since I've got the other one that I use for my curly straight routine. It's the Tresemme Keratin one. This I didn't mind at all. It smells like the normal Cantu products as well. I probably will let my son use this one because um, he washes and blow dries his hair himself. And I also have this Afoji Keratin Greedy Restructurizer. It's a leave-in strengthening treatment. It says it strengthens instantly, builds body, protects color and chemical services. I used to use this as well in my old curly straight routine. I use another product now, but also probably will give this to my son as well. I also have this ORS holding spray. This was something that I also won in a giveaway. I used it when I curl my hair as a holding spray, but this is advertised to use for wigs, you know, to secure the lace but i use it as a holding spray yeah so it works just like a normal hairspray it holds my curls but i would say it's a little bit drying but most hairsprays are drying so you have to be careful with the amount that you use in your hair but would i buy it again for a holding spray mm, probably not but obviously it was something i was gifted so i will be using it and the last thing i was gifted from ORS was this grip gel i use this for my slick up hairstyles so if i'm putting my hair up in the bun this is good for that. It's a really thick gel and it leaves a hard hold. I used to use my Eco Styler gel to slick my hair up, but it wouldn't give me the hold that I need. And you know, some of the hairs will fray. This doesn't allow your hair to fray at all. A little bit goes a long way as well. I probably will buy this again for my slick hairstyles. What I did in the video on Instagram was I used this gel and then I sprayed this on top just to give my hair like super, super hold. And it lasted the whole day. I would use these if I'm close to wash day because I don't really want to be brushing these out of my hair at all. The next thing I have is this ORS edge control. I've used different edge controls in the past and I do feel like this one works the best so far. It's just like a normal edge control gel. So when I use this edge control, I pull it in my baby hairs and I set it with a scarf and that way it lasts the whole day. But if you don't use a head scarf to set it, it will just melt away. So yeah, that's that. And the next things I have for styling are these ORS Color Blast. I have Sangria, Golden Bars and Dragon Fruit. I've got a few videos on my channel where I've used these in my hair. I've done a wash and go, a twist out and another wash and go, yeah. So if you wanna see those videos, I'll link it in the description box below as well. These are really good if you just wanna you know have a pop color in your hair or you just want to change it up once in a while i will be trying these out in summer again just because i'll be wearing a lot of wash and goes these have a slight hold to them as well so you don't need to use gel with them because it will just be too hard so yeah there's that and lastly i have my deep conditioners at the moment i'm using this ors hair restore hair mayonnaise and i believe it's the same formula that they used to use back in the day and we used to use this when i was a child so I really do like this deep conditioner. It smells just like it used to. <laughs> this is like a go-to deep conditioner for me. So I've been trying out different deep conditioners and not really like them. Like say the Maui Moisture one 
hated that for a deep conditioner but for a leave-in conditioner it was okay so this is what i would always revert back to this one and a do grow one that i used to use there was a green one and i really like the way that done my hair and i also have this cantu deep treatment mask this surprisingly is very very good it's nice and thick and i've been staring clear from cantu for a while now just because i didn't really like the way the products right to my hair but this mask is actually really all right i recommend this mask actually <laughs> this one was 6.99 so that's the deep conditioners that i'm using at the moment i have bought the shea moisture macuna honey one that's also in my haul video i will be trying that out in another video and lastly i bought a few items that i just wanted to try out again uh <laughs> so basically i wanted to do a video to say like i went back in time and i just started being a natural and i wanted to use products that was popular back in the day basically so i bought blue magic <laughs> and i wanted to try it out on my braid outs and my twist outs um not necessarily for my scalp this obviously is what we used to use on our scalp so i want to try it on my strands only for my braid outs and twist outs and i also bought this curl activator you remember this <laughs> so I've seen a few people do this on YouTube as well, we're trying to use the correct array on their hair and so yeah I just want to try it on the video. So yeah I'll be trying these out to see if I can style my hair using old school products. And lastly I have this box full of oils that I use on my hair. So yeah it's just like these oils from that company Nysense, I think that's how you pronounce it. So I have avocado oil olive oil, grapeseed oil, apricot oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, castor oil and almond oil. So I usually make my own hair oil mixture for my scalp and my strands. These are the oils that I usually use to do that. And I also have this vitamin E oil which I use to act as a antioxidant or something like that. I can't remember. Basically it prevents the oils from oxidizing basically but it's not a preservative. And people say it's a natural preservatives but it just reduces oxidation and lastly i have a bunch of essential oils as well so i have lemongrass lavender eucalyptus oil if you think that's how you pronounce it lime oil lemon oil tangerine oil tea tree oil peppermint oil and rosemary i don't use all of these for my hair specifically so i won't use any of the citrus oils in my hair those are more for skincare but i use a tea tree oil rosemary oil lemongrass and lavender on my scalp so yeah that's all the oils that i have so what i do i mix my oils and i pull it in this applicator bottle and pull it on my roots and for my strands i'll just pour it in whatever so for the products that i'll probably won't buy again it's probably this cantu one this cantu heat protectant this keratin restructurizer this hairspray the curl enhancing smoothie this ors nourishing spray i just don't have a need for it these are what i've given to my son for his hair care lots of body moisturizing milk this olive oil conditioner this leave-in conditioner yeah i think that's it so all the others i do recommend some work better than the rest but they all have given me good results in the past so yeah <sighs> so that's all my products guys I'm looking to get rid of all of them. Just going to try and use them up. I won't be buying any more for now. <laughs> I bought a few items from Camille that I mentioned in my haul. So I will be trying those out. But there's some other ones that I want to try out as well. And also the As I Am Long and Lux line. I want to try a few items from them. So I might purchase those. But for now, I'm done with products for the time being. I can't believe... That i've turned into a product junkie again like what <laughs> like i've just started my journey or something but yeah that's all the products that i have guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and um, you can check out my natural hair routines that's on my channel if you like but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye